Hi, welcome to Huntsman's MDI-2 plant in Rotterdam. This is where we make MDI, a raw material for polyurethane. Polyurethane is a foam that is used, for example, to insulate houses or make mattresses. The soles of your trainers are also made of it, and you can sit on it. But how do we make MDI, one of those raw materials? We'd love to show you. One of the most important raw materials for MDI is aniline, which is made in our plant in England. Aniline is brought into contact with hydrochloric acid in a reactor and then with formalin. Hydrochloric acid is a catalyst and causes the aniline and formalin to react quickly. This results in DATPUM, one of the intermediates needed to make MDI. Hydrochloric acid is then neutralized by caustic soda and forms salt water. We treat this and dispose of it. To make crude MDI from DATPUM, we need phosgene. Phosgene is made on site by reacting carbon monoxide and chlorine. We then dissolve the DATPUM in MCB and mix it with phosgene. This causes a reaction, which creates MDI. The reaction releases a lot of heat at first, but as it progresses, we also need to add a significant amount of heat. When MDI is formed, hydrochloric acid is released again. We take this out to reuse to make DATPUM or to supply to another company that uses it to make PVC. We then remove all undesirable substances from the MDI, such as MCB, but also residual phosgene and hydrochloric acid. We boil this out in the workup section of the MDI plant. The MCB is 100% reused in the process. This crude MDI, also known as precursor, is not yet ready to be delivered to our customers. Our crude MDI consists of different types of MDI molecules, and we want to separate them. This is because some molecules are very suitable for your mattress, but others are required for insulation material or for the steering wheel of your car. We do that in our splitters. Using heat, we separate the small molecules, which we call distillate, and these go onto the crystallizers. The large molecules that remain leave via the bottom stream as polymeric MDI. Polymeric MDI is delivered directly to the customer. In the crystallizers, we separate the distillate into two types of products that we call diisocyanates. We do this by making the crystallizer cold. Some diisocyanates get cold much quicker, and they turn into crystals. They remain in the crystallizer. The other diisocyanates remain liquid and go to a tank. When they have been removed, we heat up the crystallizer. The crystallized diisocyanates melt again and are also transferred to another tank. The stored products then go to Huntsman's downstream plant, where they are further processed for the customer, or they can be delivered directly to a customer. That customer allows the MDI to react with a polyol, which is made in Huntsman's polyol plant. This creates their specific polyurethane foam. Now you know how we make MDI in our MDI plants in Rotterdam Botlik. And you may think of us when you put on your new trainers, sit in your car, or when you have your house insulated. Want to know more? Check out Huntsman.com.